coach, thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, just a day after the debut, not the result that you wanted in the debut, just maybe your reaction to to yesterday's game. Yeah, it's been a, a 15 weeks now that we've uh, been working together with the, with the squad. And uh, there's definitely been an improvement in relation to the last derby. Uh, our team has uh, definitely grown. We, we were able to match uh, Yanga in all aspects. A fantastic uh, moment, a one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, where the goalkeeper made a top, top double save, where we should have gone 1-0 up. Um, and I think that the derby was fairly balanced. It was uh, as we expected um, on both sides, a, a tactical battle where different pressing structures versus different uh, build-up structures uh, on both sides and uh, um, adaptation within the game was, was really good and uh, it was really disappointing to, to concede the goal so late in the game and also on the, on, the, on the other front really disappointing to in the last minutes of the game and also concede that uh, let this game be decided by a set-piece on goal. So, it was a disappointing part, but uh, on the bigger picture, once you zoom out and you look at where we are at, and we definitely made progress and we're definitely uh, moving in the right direction. Mm -hmm. And obviously, I mean, it's, it's a work in progress. It's just been 16 or so weeks. Um, what would you like to? See? What would be the next step in your in, in next phase in your rebuild? Oh, uh, like we said, we have 15 new players. We've got two players from last season's starting lineup that are playing, and uh, nine new players in the in the lineup. So it's basically a new team. Uh, we've signed a, a profile of player, um, 18 years old to 24 years old. So it's a young team. Uh, definitely, we still need. If you look at uh, just in terms of the experience that the younger has, and I think that was probably the key that that pushed it in their favour. The critical phases, how to manage the game uh, better in this last phases of the of the match yesterday. Uh, so definitely, in key key positions, we still need to strengthen. We still need to get key players to be able to help these younger players grow. We've made two fantastic signings in uh, Kamara, the goalkeeper, and Ateba, the striker. And that has given us definitely a boost uh, since I came. Uh, and of course, now already one signing in Mpanzu that is definitely going to help us on the, on the attacking front. So there are still two key positions that we need to strengthen. And uh, with the, the key signings, it will definitely help these younger players to grow and make their, their growth much more quicker. And just maybe your impression on uh, Tanzanian football? Yeah, it's a very tough league. Um, every match where you play, it's, uh, it's not easy. Um, you have to do the things, the basics right. You have to dominate in a way that you can score early because each team has a threat. Uh, you can drop points at any time. It's not just uh, Yanga or Simba rocking up and, and, and getting three points, no. It's uh, astute uh, uh, coaches on the other side and, and good teams. And, you know, the talent in Tanzania, the, the local talent is, is really on a very good level. So um, each team away from home, home uh, pose a big threat. Yeah. Um, and maybe when you compare, um, um, how does the game here compare to, to, to back home in South Africa? I think if you if you can talk about uh, the state of the pitches, maybe in South Africa the infrastructure is is much much better. We had the the advantage of having a World Cup, <coughs> and uh, the facilities, the infrastructure, the the training facilities on in most clubs are, are decent. And if you talk about the, um, the the pitch surfaces, you're playing on bigger stadiums, you're playing on good pitches, and. If I could just compare that to Morocco, Morocco is then on a different level to South Africa where all the pitches are pristine. Mm -hmm. So there are definitely more levels to it. So although South Africa is better than Tanzania, but not uh, by far, uh, very far off to Morocco. Um, I think in, in, in you in the CAF Confed group stages, I think, um, a good uh, you know, step you know, for the club focus on the rebuild now. How do you see the group that you are in the Simba? Yeah, we're in a tough group. We, we play FC Bravos in Angola, a team that already beat our Coastal Union 3-0 in the prelim. 
Um, we got Konstantin and uh, Sfaxin, so two big teams in Tunisia and, and Algeria. Uh, it's not going to be easy, but uh, you know we'll take it game at a time. Of course, it's always tough to go to Tunisia and Algeria to get points, but it's also tough to come to Tanzania. So uh, we're quite optimistic. We uh, we will approach the group uh, to try to get to our ten points as quick as possible. But um, we know it's not going to be easy, but uh, we'll be quite confident. You've been to the final with some competition with Pirates before. Um, does that help? Yeah, if I talk about if you talk about that with Mandla and Nikazi and myself, and we played uh, in the semi-final against Alakli Tripoli, so uh, Simba now for it was to to get to the group stage we had to play the Alakli Tripoli, so yeah. it's familiar territory where I was before, and yeah, experience definitely helps in this competition. If you've been to Tunisia before, if you've been to Algeria before, mm -hmm. it definitely helps you uh, to prepare when when playing these matches. So. Experience does help in such competitions because uh, if you go naive into it, uh, you can suddenly find yourself uh, out of the competition. So uh, definitely it's a, uh, a calculated matches uh, where you have to go. If you're going away from home, you have to plan differently. And when you're at home, of course, everybody knows you have to pick up your, your wins. Yeah. And coach, you, you've worked very well with Coach Zilpa. Um, I mean, you guys did exceptionally well with Raja. Um, the decision to then go your own way, um, did you, like what influenced the, the, the decision? Because surely you could have moved on with him, maybe to Saudi. Yeah, I think when uh, Simba called, it was uh, before the, the semi-final. And uh, then we had conversations, of, of course, uh, with the club, Simba. And uh, yeah, I was excited by the project to to see what they are rebuilding, of course, knowing knowing the club, having played here in Benjamin Kappa with Orlando Pirates before, seeing the magnitude of the club. Um, Young has been on top for the past three seasons, so yeah, it was an exciting project. Look at the, the players they've already signed, looked at the squad, and yeah, it was, was a no-brainer to be able to, to take up this challenge. Mm -hmm. um, maybe just going back to Kosovlan is in space where you've been in Morocco with Widat. You know, big rival to your former team. What kind of advice would you <coughs> give to him? No, it's, I don't think it's about uh, me giving him advice because he's a he's a very good coach, mm. and uh, I'm hundred percent sure he will do well there. It's just for the club to give him time because, like myself, 15 new players. I think he's got uh, 17 new players. So I know exactly what he's going through, and it's not. It's not easy always to, to just hit the ground running. New players are still beginning to understand them. They're coming to a, to a big club uh, in, in Morocco. And of course, in Morocco, it's not easy. Every match you play, it's, it's so difficult to, to pick up points. So I know 100% uh, that he will make a success. I know that he will do well. And I wish him all the best. And, uh, maybe just your thoughts on this. You are able to sign 12 player, foreign players in Tanzania. In South Africa, you can only sign five. How does it? What are your thoughts about um, you know, the influx of foreigners in a, in a league? Uh, it has its uh, plus and minus. You know, uh, we've got so many different nationalities, and uh, when you are signing these players, you also have to look at uh, the language. Of course, we've gone mainly uh, French-speaking. Uh, um, countries, you know, if you talk about Guinea, if you talk about Cameroon, Ivory Coast, uh, Congo, DRC Congo, uh, just to name a few, Burkina Faso. So you have your French connection, but you know they're not really from the same country or same culture. But uh, at least the language barrier. Uh, myself, of course, work with in Morocco. It is Arabic and French, so definitely helps a bit to understand uh, certain terminologies and. Uh, that uh, poses a, a, um, a disadvantage, a small disadvantage on the one that if you bring so many different nationalities uh, into one team, yes, uh, you, then you'll have your Tanzanian uh, contingent and your foreign contingent. So uh, to blend them into a group, to blend them into a team, that of course has its uh, disadvantages. But of course, then on the positive side, you can sign the best talents uh, that will come in and improve the league. So. I think uh, on that side it's good. And, and, and maybe you played against uh, uh, Coach Nabi in, uh, in Morocco. Um, I think you guys had quite an interesting 
Tajiri race that we saw last season. What kind of coach is he? I mean, based on how his team played at S5 and beyond what we're seeing now, what can Chiefs fans expect? Yeah, I think uh, Chiefs fans uh, can be excited because uh, he's definitely already made an impact once he's come in. And you can see the difference already in, in, in Chiefs. Um, it was always tough playing him in Morocco. Like I said, uh, if you compare the, the season Chiefs had under Middendorp, where they were on top of the log for the entire season, and then lost the league uh, to coach Pizzo on the last day, that is the type of season Nabi had last season at uh, Farah, but they were on top of the log uh, throughout the entire season. And uh, two matches, two matches to go, we, we we snapped the league from them. You know, uh, um, so it's a very similar uh, experience what he faced. Uh, ironically, what Kaiser Chiefs faced with uh, Coach Ernst Middendorp. So um, he will definitely be competing up there uh, with the best uh, teams, with with Sundowns, with Pirates. Um, and Chiefs can excite, uh, expect an exciting uh, team and rebuild uh, in the future. Mm -hmm. And maybe, Coach, we see South African coaches, um, you know, dotted around the world. You know, coach Lang in Morocco, Coach Peter now going to Iran. You are here. Um, what does that mean for South African football? I think the the more coaches uh, that leave South Africa, and you know have flags, have trophies, have flags, uh, South African flags, it's better for the game because you know, these experiences uh, that the coaches get is invaluable to the, to the country. Uh, and I urge more coaches to be able to take the step. Uh, Coach Moreno as well in Botswana, uh, fantastic job what he's doing there. And that is sometimes the step you have to take to, to be able to, to make it uh, because South Africa, the landscape is not always favorable. Uh, they don't give uh, the coaches as much time as they as they need to for rebuild for uh, whatever is uh, needed at a certain time. The impatience there. So I urge more coaches to go now. It's a fantastic step that uh, Safa has done to get the A license done, mm. and hopefully they can uh, put the next steps into to be able to launch the pro license because that's very important to to coach on the continent. Yeah, and maybe I mean uh, it's been. For Simba fans, it's been three seasons uh, without a trophy. Um, your message to Simba fans? Yeah, they, they've got a dream. They've got a dream big. And uh, we will do everything in our power to change that this season. Um, although you can say you need time, but uh, we know with, with a big club like this, we have to win immediately. And that's exactly what we, we're aiming to do. It's not for us now to to start thinking about title. We have to uh, take it game by game, but the fans have to dream, you know. And uh, we will do everything in our power to to change that and and lift the the first trophy this season. Thank you so much. Good. You have been in Tanzania, but for I hope you you know some history about it. I've been for so many years. Simba and Diana are the title contender. If not, yeah, it's Simba for so many years. We made a chance to see your title contender and defending champion here yesterday. Do you see you have a chance to win the title? Of, uh, if you see the fight to be your opponent? No, young guys um, been three seasons together and they have the experience. Uh, probably at the moment, what we don't have. I don't say they have better quality. But they have more experience and being together for a long time makes a difference. But uh, if you just talk about how they have built and they are on top of their peak and we're not even halfway up our peak. So there's so much more potential to, to come within our squad. The title race is not over. We will fight until the last, uh, the last game of the season. We know we have to win the next derby. We know we have to be consistent within our fixtures. Uh, but also, there's not only Simba and Yanga. When I analyzed and we played Azam a few weeks ago, they've got a very good squad as well. Very similar level of squad, young, experienced talent uh, like Simba. So um, we've seen it now with Simba and Azam, young, uh, talented squads, but uh, Yanga has got the experience and they've been together for three years. That's been the difference. Simba lost against Yanga for four times consecutive. 
yeah, the, we can definitely see progress. We can definitely see progress in relation to the last derbies where Simba has lost five. And now we have definitely, we've only lost now with an own goal, a late set piece. So there's definitely progress in the, in the right direction. And for sure, we will get stronger and stronger. And uh, not only compete, we will win the next derby. Uh, the, the people here are fantastic. The people are warm, the people are friendly. Uh, I haven't got to see most of Tanzania because it's work 24-7. Uh, but what I can say is the, the, one of the best uh, friendly, open-heart people that, that I've found in, uh, here in Tanzania.